hello and welcome to the next part of this video uh, in the previous parts you had seen that we had tried to use linear regression using scikit-learn with outlier without outlier with random state and with stats model and the maximum accuracy we could achieve was 36.8 percent so in the next part of this video what we are going to do is we will be trying to use a decision tree regression on the same data set and try to see if it does improve the accuracy or not so first I'll be uh, importing the model sklearn dot tree import decision tree regressor uh, import the package and in the next line let's say we name it as DT decision tree so we'll write decision tree regressor and I'll write the same st uh, random state random state equals to maybe 1 2 3 in the next line I'll write DT dot fit on my X and Y I'll be fitting it and on the next line I'll be writing DT dot fit actually I should not be uh, implementing it on the whole of X and Y so I will be doing it DT dot fit on train underscore X and train underscore Y okay let's execute it so it has been executed now what we'll be doing we will be predicting it y underscore pred uh, underscore dt i will name it as dt dt dot predict because we have named it as dt that's why dt dot predict and we are going to predict the test underscore x we have predicted it and now in the same way the way we had done it earlier we will be checking for the MIP from sklearn I hope I have written the spelling correctly sklearn dot matrix matrices import mean absolute percentage error so I have imported the package and then I will be writing mean absolute percentage error and simply I will be writing test underscore y and y underscore pred underscore dt the same name which I have given see now the accuracy has been improved and the MAP has come down to 17.75 percent so with decision tree my accuracy has significantly come down to 17.7 percent all right now let's understand what if we use another package maybe random forest so what will be the result for random forest then again from sklearn dot ensemble technique import random forest regressor import the import the package and then again I'll write RF equals to random forest regressor in random forest regressor I will be writing n underscore estimator that means how many trees I am going to create suppose I create uh, 1000 trees and random state equals to maybe the same 1 2 3 and then rf dot fit I am going to fit it on the same thing I can directly copy paste it since I have already written it I'll copy paste it random uh, train X and train Y let's execute it oops there is some problem uh, don't know what it is random forest uh, did I miss any comma 
random state it's equals to it's equals to one two three not underscore my mistake and then I'll write RF dot fit train X train Y it's done now I'm going to predict it now for predicting it again I can simply copy this part copy this part and then I'll check the map I can also copy this part for map and instead of DT it will be RF and instead of DT this one's going to be RF I have predicted it and over here instead of DT is going to be RF now if I execute it see it is getting I'm getting 16.27 percent so random forest is giving me 16.27 percent 16.27 yes 16.27 or I can even multiply it by 100 to directly get it 16.27 percent so random forest which has further improved my result now I am going to use another technique which is called XG boost extreme gradient boosting let's see if it helps me to further improve my accuracy or not so I'll import XG boost as maybe I'll name it as I'll put an alias XG I'll put an alias as XG and in the next part I will write XG B uh, underscore R let me name it as XG boost regression equals to XG dot uh, it's XG B regressor XG B regressor and I will be writing then I'll have to fit it so copy this part dot fit and the same thing train underscore x comma train underscore y I'll fit it I'll execute it it's uh, still working you can see there is a time glass yeah now it's done now in the next part again I'm going to predict it so I'll pred y pred underscore maybe I'll write as x equals to xgbr xgb underscore r dot predict and on the same data I'll be predicting test underscore x let's predict it and then I will be calculating the map let me copy this part and let me put it over here instead of rf I'll be writing uh, y pred underscore x and let me execute it see I am getting it like 19 percent okay so which is actually more than what we had uh, done done earlier so it is actually giving me a higher uh, higher accuracy or that means a lower accuracy than what we had done earlier uh, one more thing we can just try it with maybe the number of estimator n underscore estimator uh, I can try it maybe with 100 or uh, may let's make it to 200 uh, let me execute it still it is working and then I'll predict it and then I'll check the map so I don't know what it if it will improve the results or not in case it does not improve the result then what we can do is we can go for hyper parameter tuning okay so by further fine tuning all the parameters of XGBoost usually XGBoost will give you a better result usually but uh, in some of the cases if it does not then we can go for hyper parameter tuning for the time being we will just write down for our XGB it's about 19 percent uh, in the code which I'll be posting on my website I'll try to check it if I can improve it further uh, you will be getting the updated code over there 
okay so now it has been executed I can just check it once again by doing it uh, no it was 19 point something 19.5 it is not actually uh, increasing it but we can try it further maybe in some of the ne other video I'll try it to have it further improve it alright so these were the different models what we have tried thank you so much for your time you can check our website that is www.analyticseducator.com or you can write to us uh, for any enquiry if you have or you may visit our website for any courses thank you for your time